good morning guys so today i'm starting the video in a different setting because it's been a while since i did a thrift with me you guys have been asking me to take you thrifting again and today i'm going to get some things for bundles if you didn't knew i have a little styling business a small business it's called across the universe styling i'm gonna link it down below it's an etsy shop and basically i sell personalized 60s and 70s style bundles i absolutely love to do it i love to style all of you it's so incredible to see you guys wearing looks that i styled and today i'm going to take you along thrifting for some of these looks. If you've been wondering why the camera kind of looks a little weird and there's this kind of light reflection thing going on, I dropped my phone, I'm going to get it fixed, but I haven't done it yet. But it's kind of giving me a cool effect, so we're just gonna go with it. So I'm about to leave and go to the thrift stores. I'm planning on going to multiple stores today and getting all sorts of different things for multiple bundles. But before I'm leaving, let me show you what I'm wearing. So this is what I'm wearing today. I'm starting off with these incredible boots I recently thrifted. I love them. I kind of love the height where they hit. I think they're really cool. Um, I'm wearing these really cool white fishnet stockings. I don't know why, but lately I've been obsessed with them. They give me that kind of circus 60s look that I really, really love. This really cool suede mini skirt, which is one of my favorite skirts, actually. I'm wearing it with two chain belts. As you can see, this one's kind of sitting a little bit higher, and this one is way more down on my hips. I'm also wearing this beautiful blouse. This one is an original 60s piece. Pretty much everything I'm wearing today is originally from the 60s, but I just love the fabric covered button and the beautiful dreamy collar. Then I'm also wearing this incredible little jacket that reminds me so much of Granny Takes a Drip kind of 60s Carnaby look. This one is such an incredible vintage find and I absolutely love it. I think it is so, so dreamy and unique. For accessories, I decided to go with these rings on my left hand and these ones on my right hand. I'm also wearing this necklace, kind of like a little purse. And this one is actually really special. And as you can see, it kind of has a little bottle. You can also open it and it's actually filled with ammonium. So if you've been watching my videos for a while, you might know that I struggle with a dissociative disorder. Basically, it's kind of linked to my PTSD, which means that sometimes I tend to completely fade. Sometimes people don't even realize it when they're around me, but basically I completely lose touch with reality and I'm like back in my trauma and I don't really get anything that's going on and one thing that really helps with this is having ammonium on me because I can just smell it and it is a really harsh reaction for your body and so you immediately come back and I got this little necklace yesterday thinking it was so beautiful and didn't realize it was actually a little bottle as you can see you can kind of open it like this and now it is filled with ammonium for my accessories i decided to go with stars today i have this little choker that i just made from some silk ribbon i had left and these really beautiful earrings for my makeup i decided to go with a very purple psychedelic late 60s look um yeah and that's pretty much all i have to say so let's go thrifting first location park the car and now I'm walking up to the store it is really cold today but it's also such a beautiful sunny day and it's, it's kind of the perfect day for thrifting I think and I'm so excited because I haven't been on like a big thrift trip in quite a while now I've been like picking up stuff here and there but like having a full day dedicated to thrifting it's been a while so I'm honestly just really excited got my mask and let's go in I just got in and walked through the homeware section and look what I found. It's an original Helios thermos and it's in prime condition. I don't know how much it is because it doesn't have a price, but I bet it's like gonna be only a few bucks, so I have to get this. This is an incredible find. So I made it to the back of the store where the shoes are. So all of these shoes are somewhat between two and six bucks, so I'll have to take a look because there are some pretty cool things here. So these boots are not really fitting for any bundle that I'm styling right now, but just the look inside, they are so soft and warm. So I'm back in the spot of the store where I usually show you everything that I picked up so far because it's a little crowded, so I don't want to like go through every rag and take you along. So here's what I picked up so far. I found this really cool velvet hat that reminded me of Stevie Nicks immediately. I think this is so, so cool. I found this hat, which is so dreamy and really cool. And then also this one that has like a really interesting texture. 
It's really cute for like an Anita Pellenberg look, which I'm styling a bundle inspired by her, so I'm thinking this might go with it really well. Probably not gonna get this, but I wanted to show it to you because it's a really cool 70s sweater. However, it's a bit big for the look that I'm going for with a bundle, so I'm probably not gonna get this, but it's really cute, so I thought I'd show you anyway. I got some black leather pants. These might go in a bundle and I'm gonna try them because maybe they fit me because even though I have leather pants, I don't have any black ones and these are really cool and they might be my size, so fingers crossed for that. So I'm styling a dreamy 70s bundle and I think the skirt might be too big for it, but I have to measure it. This one is so dreamy. Looking at the tags, this one is either from the late 60s or the early 70s and I think it is so dreamy and beautiful. The pattern is so cute. So I'm styling a very like basic 60s look bundle for someone where basically they ask for a lot of staple pieces. I found this incredible mini skirt. This one is a velvet mini skirt and I think it will be perfect for that bundle. For the same bundle, I also picked up this really cute brown turtleneck. I feel like these are just staple pieces and they go with everything. Speaking of brown, I found this really cool jacket that I believe someone handmade probably in the late 60s to early 70s. And I definitely have to try this one on because it's so cool. I don't really know. I usually don't go for styles like this and I don't really have any jackets with this zipper, but I really like this one. I kind of did get really lucky with belts today. So I have this one, this really cool circular buckle that kind of closes like this. And then I also found this one, which is incredible and kind of closed like this and it is super thick and I love the snakeskin look. So someone ordered a bundle, like a hippie inspired, but more of a modern look, like that sort of hippie fairy look that's kind of in style right now. And I found this skirt, which is really cool and has all of these layers and details and I think the person who ordered the bundle is gonna love this skirt. So yeah, let's see what else we can find in this store. So the space in this dressing room is really limited. But this is what the leather panes look like. They're a little big on me, but they're also kind of cool. Okay, so not with the look that I'm wearing today, but generally this is so cute and so soft and nice and warm. I think I'll have to get this one. Maybe it'll go in a bundle eventually. I actually kind of cycle through my closet, so I'll just give away things that I don't really wear that much anymore or that I feel like are very fitting for a certain bundle and then I'll just refill whenever I find something that I like. I was really successful. I'm gonna have to show you a haul later. I'm back at the car now, but I got this and then I found this little travel case before I left the store and some incredible jewelry. So now it's time for store number two. They're just so much fun, I think. So I'm back at the car now. I don't know what it is about the store that I was just in, but for some reason, even though they always have good things, I kind of have that feeling that I always want to leave the store as quickly as possible. It's kind of a little weird in there. I don't really know how to say it, but they had the back open, like their entire stock room and everything. So that was pretty cool. And I actually found some really good things. So now it's on to the next store. I'm thinking that maybe I'll just do a haul at the end of the video just to kind of show you everything that I got today. So let's go to the next store. I just parked the car and now I'm going to the next store. In this store you pay by weight. So part of the things that they have has actually a price and the other things you have to weigh. So yeah, they usually have some really incredible wild finds and they also have a lot of vintage stuff. So let's take a look. So far I picked up this incredible skirt because I'm styling like like a dreamy 70s bundle and then this suede coat that I like a lot and I think would be great for another bundle that I'm currently working on and now I made it to the purses and bags there is this really cool tapestry one but this one's really expensive that's the thing about this store since they're really assorted a lot of the things are really really expensive like this one this one is 150 bucks and I have one really similar that I paid three euros for Honestly, that's why I usually prefer the less assorted vintage stores and more of like thrift stores in general because you will just get way better deals on your things. These sunglasses remind me so much of Keith Richards. What do you think? These are kind of cool though. I don't know what it is with me and this store and having the best luck in finding coats and jackets, but look at this. This is so incredible. 
I'll have to ask how much this is because this is from the way part of the store but I hope it's not that expensive because it's really cool and this will also be perfect for some bundles. So the coat was only six bucks so I had to get it and the skirt was like two or something like this. So these were two really good deals and now I'm off to the next store because I'm still looking for like things for one bundle. I'm styling one bundle inspired by 60s boutique granny takes a trip and they had a really distinct and special style and I'm still looking for pieces for that because it's really hard to find pieces that fit that topic or that theme in general. So I just arrived at the next thrift store. This one is also pretty big and they usually have a lot of very different and unique pieces so fingers crossed I will find something very granny takes a trip style in here so I already got really lucky in the blouse section over there and now I'm just gonna have another look the women's clothing department in this thrift store is really really big and they have a lot of different things from all time periods and everything so I found some incredible 60s and 70s blouses and let's just have another look to see everything that they got I am so sad right now because this would be perfect for the granny takes a trip bundle but it's way too big so it's pretty crowded in here, that's why I came to the dressing room to show you what I picked up so far. So this might be a little bit of a weird perspective, but it's pretty much the best I can do with the hangers in here, so bear with me while I show you what I got. So I picked up this really cool kind of tapestry style scarf. I feel like this one would work for the Granny Takes a Trip one. And then I'm also doing one inspired by Stevie Nicks and Jimi Hendrix, so this one might work for that as well. And I tell you, these pants might be the best thing I ever found. I'm not lying, like look at them. These are velvet flares, striped. They're incredible. I found this really cute white beret and I actually have the exact same one. And I always get comments that you guys love it and a lot of people ask for them in their bundles. So this will be a great staple piece. So I've been looking through my closet and I realized I don't really have any winter clothes or like really warm clothes. So I picked up this really cute sweater. Um, it's just three bucks, I think, and it is um, cotton and wool blend, so this will keep me very warm during the winter. Speaking of the Granny Takes a Trip bundle, I found this incredible jacket that reminds me so, so much of the style. The only thing is that this one is pretty big, so I'm gonna have to try it on because the girl that I'm styling pretty much has my size. This kind of looks cool a little oversized. You saw me go through the blouses right in the beginning and I found some pretty cool ones. I found this one also for probably the granny bundle or another one because the pattern on this one is really nice and kind of slightly psychedelic. I found this really cool corduroy blouse for another bundle that I'm styling. This one is perfect for like a 70s look. This blouse is definitely handmade probably in the 60s and it is so cute. It has like the most beautiful detailing very nice one but it is a bit big and I'm currently only styling people with like smaller sizes which not because I want to do that but because these are the people that I currently ordered however I'm styling all sizes but I feel like this one might not fit anyone I'm styling at the moment I also found this incredible blouse which honestly is such a dream perfect for like a granny look I love the kind of tapestry look of this so yeah, this one is also a great find. Something very shiny, I also found this blouse, possibly for the granny look because it's just so unique and beautiful. And last but not least, I found this incredibly detailed velvet jacket. This is so, so beautiful. It looks really, really old and it is so gorgeous. I'm gonna have to get this one. So now I'm just gonna take all the measurements of everything and figure out what I'm gonna get. I am obsessed with this. This is definitely going to be part of the Granny Takes a Trip bundle because the girl kind of has my measurements. So even though I think this is meant to be just a jacket, it looks great as a coat. It's incredible and it's perfect for the look. I just left the store and picked this up on my way out. Isn't it so beautiful? And I'm gonna get all of this, load it in the car now and then drive home and show you what I got today.
So this is a little bit of an unusual twist for these sort of videos, but I am in my filming spot and I'm just gonna quickly show you everything that I got today. You guys have been commenting that you would love to see a haul at the end of these thrift with me videos, so I'm gonna show you one. However, the pieces that I got for myself, I'm not gonna do like a try on full on haul. I do hauls like every month or every other month showing you everything that I got. So these will be featured in the next haul. Starting with this incredible 70s beauty case. This one immediately reminded me of Penny Lane. I just rewatched Almost Famous a couple of days ago and I'm in love with this. It is so beautiful. It even has the key so I can actually close it. I'm planning on also kind of just using this as a purse and this was only two euros and 50 cents, so a great deal. I ended up getting this incredible knitted 70s sweater. This was two or three bucks, something around this. As said, I don't really have a lot of warm winter clothes, so I was really excited to get this one. I got this wonderful scarf. This one is just really beautiful. I love how you can kind of wear it down here. I'm styling a Stevie Nicks bundle, so I figured this would just be perfect. And I'm also styling a lot of dreamy 70s looks right now, and I feel like this one also works great for those sort of looks. I ended up getting this incredible velvet skirt. It is so, so beautiful and just very simple. It's an original 60s piece and I feel like you can never go wrong with the velvet skirt. Hear me out on this one. So this one was like in the 50 cent bin at one of the thrift stores and I don't really have a lot of t-shirts. I talked about it before and I found this incredible 70s shirt. I love the print, the like cowboy look. Cowboy boots are my favorite shoes. So this one was just way too fitting to not get it. I got these leather pants, which as said, I might keep, but they're a little big on me, so I might also give them away in like a Maniskin inspired bundle, doing a lot of those right now, and also like a lot of 70s rockstar bundles, and I feel like leather pants are a classic 70s rockstar staple. I got this gorgeous velvet blazer for another bundle. Because the lens shattered, you can see this, like as soon as it gets darker in part of the picture, there's this weird reflection, but you will probably be able to see it. This wonderful velvet blazer that is just great for a 70s look. Patty Boyd actually wore one really similar to this one, so I was really excited to find this. So since I was looking for a Granny Takes a Trip inspired bundle and the style is very distinctive and very specific, I was so excited to find these pants. Look at them. These are white leather pants. They're slightly cropped and they're this wonderful, unique granny style. I love them. They're this beige color. They're originally from the 60s and these are just an incredible piece of clothing. Speaking of that 60s Carnaby style, I got this wonderful shirt that is from the late 60s. It is so beautiful. I love the pattern. It is velvet and pretty heavy because the material is so luxurious and it's just beautiful. Speaking of that dreamy 70s look, I also got this really beautiful 70s cardigan. It buttons like this and it has the most beautiful little collar. And then I also decided to get this really cool velvet purse. This one was $2.50 and there's not a lot to say about it. It's just a very classic little bag. So the last thing that I got was this tray. This one was a euro and 90 cents. I love this one so much. I think it's so beautiful. This will also be great for taking pictures or when I do like close-up shots of my hands, this will be a great background. Remember how I said that I wouldn't get that one pullover that was slightly oversized? Well, it was on sale for a euro. So I thought, give or take, why not? I got it. I feel like this one will look good. This one will work great with a lot of bundles and maybe until the perfect bundle comes, I'm just gonna wear it myself. I'm styling a bundle inspired by Sharon Tate and Jane Fonda and I got this incredible leather skirt to style with it. It's such a cool classic look. It's a very dark shade of brown and I think it will look perfect. And I think it goes perfect for that late 60s look. I also got this very dreamy velvet top for a Stevie inspired bundle. So I haven't put the Granny Takes a Trip bundle and the Jimi Hendrix bundle. I haven't actually put all of these together, but this one definitely is a high contender for both of them. This one is an original vintage piece from the late 60s, early 70s. And it is so, so unique and beautiful. Jimi Hendrix wore a lot of shirts like this. So this one is just a perfect fit. I actually got another velvet skirt. I'm doing a bundle that is more focused on like basics and this one will work perfectly for that. For that same bundle, I just got a classic brown turtleneck and maybe this one might also play a part in the Sharon Tate bundle, haven't figured it out yet. That's usually what I do. I get like different things and then when I'm home, I put them together and see if there's anything else I need to get or if there's something from my own closet that I 
can add and I just kind of go along with that. I quickly mentioned this earlier but I'm styling one hippie bundle that is more inspired by like the modern day hippie look and the person also pinned a lot of cottage fairy court looks and I thought this skirt is just perfect for that look. I love all the layers. This one also reminds me a lot of Stevie Nicks and I think it's such a beautiful and unique piece. I ended up getting this really big belt that I showed you earlier and now I'm thinking that this one with the leather skirt might also be great for a Jane Fonda look. I got that really cool Stevie Velvet hat as well as that red one that is very classic, very Rolling Stones. I might keep this one because I don't really have a hat this shade and I really love how this is looking on my head. And then I also got this darker shade of red which is also very cute also very rolling stones especially keith richards i got this really cool big red belt for two bucks and then right while i was checking out the cashier actually showed me these necklaces that they just got in this one was two euros it is so so beautiful and unique i love this one so much it's such an incredible piece i feel like this one would have also been perfect to wear with the look that i'm wearing today I'll just keep it on for the rest of the video. And then I also had a similar one, but a little bit smaller and in gold. I got these for myself. These are two pairs of black knee-high socks. I don't know what happened to mine. I think I might have lost them, but I'm really glad that I got these. Okay, quickly talked about this. This was the first thing that I found today, and it is one of my favorite founds. I ended up paying one euro and 50 cents for it, which is absolutely nothing. This is an original Helios Thermos from the 70s. It opens like so. I was shocked when I looked inside because this is so clean. This is practically new. So I am so, so, so excited about this one. Not only is this like a cool thing for photos, but I also really enjoy soup. So this will definitely come in handy for me. I showed you the beautiful suede leather coat that I got. What I really love about this one is that the lining is really thin. And while I have a lot of thick coats, I kind of don't have a lot of like thinner coats for days where it's not that cold yet. So this is incredible. This one was six bucks. As said, this is probably gonna go into my closet first and then maybe one day I'll just give it away in a bundle. It's kind of funny to me because right now the circle of my closet is that I get things and then I put them in my closet and sometimes I don't even end up wearing them because a week later someone orders a bundle and I'm like, oh, this just goes perfect with it. And then I also tend to give away a lot of my own clothes, so I kind of have to restock my closet before I run out of things to wear. This is definitely my favorite find of the day. It's this incredible Granny Takes a Trip inspired jacket. This one reminds me so much of the granny jacket George Harrison used to wear. I'm gonna put up a picture right here and I think it is absolutely gorgeous and stunning and I hope the person this one goes to will love it as much as I do. I ended up getting this really cute skirt for that dreamy 70s bundle. I love the pattern and I think this is just so so cute and really truly dreamy these pants you guys won't believe how many of you actually pin these on your pinterest boards when you sent me your inspiration and i always try to look out for them but they are extremely rare i don't even have a pair of them myself so i'll have to try them on and then figure out if i will keep them or if they go into a bundle but basically these are just the most incredible striped velvet corduroys these are just incredible they were eight bucks and that's such a good deal because usually these pants if you search them up online they will be like a hundred bucks because they're so rare so i might have to hold on to these i also got this really really beautiful tapestry scarf bundles that i'm working on right now a lot of them are psychedelic which is why i got a lot of like really psychedelic funky pieces Next up, I got this incredible pullover for me. This is a wool and cotton blend, which makes it super, super warm and nice to wear. I love the pattern. It doesn't have a tag or anything. It kind of looks very handmade to me. And I honestly feel like this is a color that looks so nice with my hair. I also ended up getting this beret. It was four bucks. And as said, I actually have the exact same one. This one is made from 100% wool, so it'll keep your head super, super warm. And you guys always ask me for berets. So one of you will get lucky and I'll put this one in your bundle. And then last but not least, I got this incredible jacket. It is so beautifully detailed. It doesn't have any tags or anything, but it looks like it's actually a pretty cool vintage piece. This is the bag, but I'm kind of thinking that I could also wear it like this because it's just such a magical and incredible piece. 
So it's the next day. I'm already in the sweater that I got yesterday. I love it so much. I already cleaned it, washed it and everything. Everything that you get from my shop, jewelry and everything is sanitized. Everything is washed. I make sure that you get good products and that everything is in good condition and properly cleaned. And I was just putting together the bundles and I decided to show you what they ended up looking like. So this is what the Carnaby Granny Takes a Trip style bundle looks like now. Let me show you the pieces that I picked. So it's this incredible beige leather pants that you saw me get yesterday. And then I added this belt that is actually from my own closet. I found this incredible roughly 60s blouse. This is a one of a kind piece and so gorgeous. I also decided to go with this necklace that I got yesterday and the beautiful tapestry jacket coat. Because she said she also loves the maniskin kind of look, I decided to also add this top as an extra piece. I think this is incredible and it definitely fits the maniskin look and I can definitely see her wearing this with this outfit instead of the ruffly top. So she ordered the LP bundle, which actually comes with two outfits. And for the second one, I went with a very Patty Boyd inspired Carnaby Street peacock sort of granny takes a trip look. So I started with this skirt. This one is a very, very cool cut. As you can see, it kind of overlays right here. This is a very popular cut from the 60s and the material is so beautiful. I also decided to add this really cool peacock style scarf. For a top, I decided to go with this incredible paisley velvet top and then I added this really cool silver bangle and a cute little one with the most beautiful little imprinted details. I also decided to add this beautiful necklace with it and the clasp on this is so dreamy and beautiful. This one is probably rather from the early 60s but I feel like it works really well with the look. And then last but not least, I added this incredible hat that I got yesterday. And then last but not least, I added these beautiful little white knee socks. These are just simple knee socks, but I think they will go really well with both the rather cropped pants and the skirt. So I wanted to talk a little bit more about this scarf. As you can see, this is the brand. It's kind of hard to see, but the brand is called Trevira. Trevira? I don't really know. Apparently it's a German brand and this is a polyester scarf and they go for 20 to 30 bucks online. So I would honestly recommend you to check out the brands and really make sure to know which brands were in at the time or just Google them because this is a great piece and I got this for a few bucks. So basically the person who ordered the bundle will get a great deal on this and so did I, so that's great. The inspiration for this bundle are Dominic Behrend, Sharon Tate and Jane Fonda. So all of these women loved 60s mini dresses. And as you can see, I decided to go with this one. It has such a beautiful texture. I added this really cool sort of velvet soft corduroy jacket to go with it. And then also this incredible brown head. I also added this beautiful necklace. There is this one picture of Jane Fonda. I'm gonna put it right up here. Um, she pinned it and I feel like this look is so close to that. I also added this really cool big belt that she can kind of wear more down on her hips. I also added a wonderful bag. I personally think this bag is so, so cool. And I feel like the brown really matches the whole look. And then I also added some tights. These are so cool. These are originally from the 60s and they're just an incredible pair. And I feel like the color will go really well with the look. Oh, and I almost forgot to show you this, but I also added this really cute little bracelet and these really interesting earrings. So basically all of the things that go into this bundle are from my own closet. The jacket and the dress are from my own closet. I love them, but it's time for them to go. However, she said that she also loved Sharon Tate's style. And so I decided to style the same dress with some different accessories for a more Sharon Tate look. Let me show you what I did. So basically I just added this really cool necklace that I got yesterday and that reminded me of Sharon a lot. And this really beautiful little shiny bag. So this is a very classic and cute Sharon look. This one is inspired by Stevie Nicks, Queen and the Rolling Stones. So hear me out. First of all, we have this gorgeous skirt that I actually got for myself, but it is too long for me. And I actually did a photo shoot wearing it. However, it's too long on me. So I decided to give it away. And she also said that she loves red. So I went with this gorgeous red blouse. It has the beautiful fabric covered buttons. And then I decided to add this gorgeous velvet blazer and a very Stevie hat. I also added these really cool gloves and this 
magical little bag as well as this gorgeous tapestry scarf shawl situation these gorgeous earrings that i recently thrifted and they actually matched this necklace that i had perfectly so i decided to add both to this look and i also added this beautiful little bracelet as well as this really cool red belt so my thought process with this is that like uh, this it is a very stevie look but then when you take away the scarf and some of the accessories and add the red belt this is a very rolling stones look so yeah i really hope she loves this so yeah now that i put together all the bundles i'm gonna pack them and ship them to you guys this is what the boxes actually look like these are some more bundles that i just did so basically i paint all of them just to make them really special because your support with this whole business and everything just truly means so much that i really want to give back to you so i quickly wanted to take this moment to thank each and every single one of you who supports me and supported me if it is by buying a bundle if it is by watching my videos following me on instagram all of this truly means the world to me your support means so so much so from the bottom of my heart i just want to say thank you so yeah that's it that's everything that i got today that's everything i have for this video today for you i really hope you enjoyed it if you did i'd love you to give it a thumbs up and maybe even share it with a friend it supports me it supports the channel and it would mean a lot if you're interested in all things 60s and 70s subscribe to my channel because i upload at least one video every single week all about that if you would like to get styled by me, I would absolutely love to do that. All of your support truly means the world. I'll have my Etsy shop linked down below. Reach out if you have any questions. I'm always happy to answer them for you. Make sure to leave a comment down below telling me which of these pieces is your favorite. And also if you're looking forward to that try on video that I'm definitely gonna film in the next few weeks. I hope you have a wonderful day. Go out, enjoy the sunshine. Take yourself some time to focus on you and your mental health today. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys!